What's going on, YouTube Black Bigelow Male Gigolo? Balling out of control in my 14-year-old minivan. Got a bed in the back for the lucky lady out there. Might win one night with yours truly, the Gigolo himself. Anyways, I'm on YouTube looking up videos or what have you. So this kid, TikToker Swavy, got shot and killed about two or three weeks ago. So I'm on YouTube seeing what other people have uh, said about the shooting or whatever. And I watched this guy that has a YouTube channel. It's, it's one of those, uh, you know, stupid reaction channels. So this guy, his YouTube channel is called Nitrous TV. Uh, I'll put the link below if you want to go check out his channel. You might like it. Uh, I don't really watch uh, reaction channels because I think they're utter fucking trash. No, no offense to any reactors out there, but, you know, it's, you know, garbage. Anyways, so this guy is doing a reaction video to the shooting on video of this guy, this TikToker, Swavy, right? And first of all, that video is wrong. That's not the video. It's a video of a gas station in D Detroit. I don't know why people keep putting that gas station shooting as the shooting of Swavy. Anyways, so... He's watching the video, and I'm I'm a, just about to click off of his ass. And he said a couple things that I find utterly fascinating. Number one, uh, he was like, blah, 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 nigga this, blah, 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 nigga that. And I was like, nigga? I was like, well, hashtag white boys can say the N-word too. Hashtag white boys can say nigga too. You know, I'm all about that shit. I'm a, white boys can say nigga too. Let's just stop it. You know what I mean? So I'm like, okay, okay, you know, he's white. And he says, you know, dropping that, dropping that, uh, you know, okay. And then he says something even more interesting, which is why I'm making this video. This motherfucker says, and I'm not going to quote him, but he basically says this. Come on, black people. We got to do better than this. We can't go around killing each other. We can't go around treating each other this way. That's pretty much what he said. And I, first of all, I like what he said, number one, because I agree. But number two, it, this dude don't look really black. I mean, he ain't, I mean, he obviously isn't white. You could tell he's mixed. But I'm like, Okay, so, so let's say his mom is black or his dad is black or, or what have you. I'm looking at this dude and I say, man, you know, I, I'm all on board with what he says. But when, when, he, when he says we as like black people all together and you, know, you have that one drop rule where, you know, if you have a, a little bit of uh, black in you, you consider black. But you got to look at this dude like, I don't know. You guys let me know in the comments. Do you think this guy, first of all, is really black? And number two, can you compare yourself to black people when you don't even look black, bro? You, you don't, you look like, I mean, you could probably pass off as make, maybe Puerto Rican or something like that on a good day, but you at all, you don't look black at all. That's like saying that I look black. I mean, neither of us look black. So it's kind of hard when you're so damn light skinned to put yourself in the position of somebody who's, you know, darker skinned than you, because you can't live that life. See, you, you want to live that life. You know what I mean? You're on YouTube. You got a successful YouTube channel. You're making the, probably some good money. You know what I mean? You, you know, and I love the message. I, 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 I love the message. And this video isn't to really, you know, talk shit about this guy, but I, I don't know. I, I, when he said that, I'm just like, mm. I don't know if he can say we, I don't know if he can compare himself to somebody black because he ain't really black. I mean, if you want to go by the one drop or the 1% rule, then yeah, sure. Even if his grandfather's black, then that would mean he's still black. But that rule wasn't put in place because black people were like, oh yeah, hey, what's up, bro? Yeah, you black, come over here, bro. Give me some love, bro. Give me some love. That, that wasn't about that. That rule was put in place by white people not wanting nothing to do with anybody black that was mixed with white, anybody that was light-skinned and black, they basically said, 
fuck you niggas, you can get away from me. That's what they did. That's why that rule is like that. So when he said that, I'm just like, man, how do, how do you compare yourself to somebody black when you don't even look black? You can't even pass off as black, bro. Like, you could walk uh, down the street and nobody would think you're black unless you, I don't know, I don't even know if he talks black or, or, or if he dresses a certain kind of style. He would have to let people know he's black because... Uh, his features don't really look that black. It's not like he's got like a like a like a like a wider nose or or, or bigger lips that I can remember. I'm, I don't have his picture in my brain right now, but from what I've seen, he doesn't look black. You know, he doesn't he doesn't you know he doesn't sound black. He doesn't have a black voice. I don't know about his mannerisms because I didn't I wasn't trying to like look up at his channel for. You know, just to see what he's all about. All I know about him is, I don't know, he's a young guy, maybe early 20s, uh, if that. And he has a reaction channel. And, uh, you know, I just, I, I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure if he could call himself black. Because I, I just think that he doesn't know what it's like to be black. He really doesn't. You know what I mean? Now, again, I love the message of what he was saying. But at the end of the day... If you're, you know, I guess they call it white passing, uh, you know, maybe I'm using it in the wrong context. I don't know exactly what white passing means. Um, I don't know if that means that you pass off as being white if you're mixed with black or or you can pass off as being white, even though you're mixed with black. I'm guessing that's what that means. So let's just say that's what it means. That guy can pass off as being white. I mean, now people like when they talk to him, they're probably going to figure out like, oh, hey, this guy might be mixed with like, you know, Puerto Rican. He might be mixed with Spanish or what have you. But I mean, nobody's going to say this dude's mixed with black. Come on. I mean, so to say like we like to compare himself with black people, I was just like, mm, I don't think so. I think a lot of I think a lot of light skinned people like that, like ambiguously uh, black people. That's what I that's my word. Ambiguously black. But people like that that might have a black parent or maybe their parent was black, but they were light skinned or maybe, you know, your, 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 your dad was black, your mom was white. And then, you know, your, your mother had the dominant genes. You know what I mean? It could be something like that. And, you know, he's just like, yeah, Hey, black people, we got to do better. We got to do this. We got to do that. And you're like, mm -hmm. I mean, I don't disagree with him. You know, I just, I don't know. I just thought it was kind of odd. So anyways, you guys, let me let me know in the comments what you guys think about that. Anyways, guys, I just made it to eight minutes of the video. If it gets monetized, because I did say nigga a lot. If it gets monetized, I'll get two commercials. And and if if I can get if I can get at least five thousand views off this video, that will be enough for me to take a, a one of my beautiful female subscribers out on a date to Jimmy John's. If I'm lucky. If I'm lucky. I'll catch up with y'all later. Peace out.